second step of manufacturing the cement is burning up of raw materials burning of raw materials is usually done in a rotatory kiln rotatory kiln is made up of a steel tube of about 2.5 to 3 meters in diameter and 90 to 125 meters in length the kiln is laid in slightly inclined position about 45 angle and the kiln is capable of rotating at one rotation per minute as we know already manufacture of cement is carried out by two different process that is by dry process and by the wet process whatever the process may be the burning up of raw material is going to be carried out in a same rotatory kiln for the dry process powdered raw material is injected into the rotatory kiln from the upper end while the hot flame is forced into the kiln from the lower end and the temperature required here is at about 1700 degree centigrade so when we come to the wet process the powdered limestone and the washed clay is mixed up homogeneously in the form of a paste the paste or the slurry is injected into the rotatory kiln from the upper end while the hot flame is forced into the kiln from the lower end again in this process also the temperature required is about 1700 degree centigrade burning of raw material either by the dry process or by the wet process is carried out under three different zones or stages first zone is called drying zone second zone is called calcination zone and third zone is called as clinkering zone the diagram indicates the large scale production of portland cement that is industrial production of a portland cement usually heating up of raw material is going to be carried out in a rotatory kiln the rotatory kiln is made up of a steel tube having the diameter 2 to 3 meter and 100 to 125 meter in length the kiln is slightly made an incline at about a 45 degree angle so that the injected raw material should come down 
and the hot air is blown from the lower end as the raw materials come to the lower end and the hot air is blown heating up of raw material will be takes place generally the heating up of raw material is carried out in three different stages called as zones the first zone is drying zone second zone is called as calcination zone and third zone is called as clinkering zone coming to the first one that is drying zone now we shall see all the three zones drying zone is the first zone here the temperature required is about 400 degree centigrade and in this zone that is in the drying zone any water content of the raw materials is completely removed as the raw materials become dry here so this zone is going to be called as a drying zone in this zone almost all water content is removed second one is calcination zone second zone is called as the calcination zone and it contains temperature about 1000 degree centigrade here calcium carbonate is converted into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide as the zone itself is called as a calcination zone calcium carbonate undergoes decomposition forming calcium oxide with the liberation of carbon dioxide third zone is called as clinkering zone and it contains the temperature at about 1500 degree centigrade to 1700 degree centigrade here in the third zone lime and clay undergoes chemical interaction yielding calcium silicate calcium aluminates and calcium alumino ferrite the third step of the manufacture of cement is the chemical reactions here during the burning up of raw materials the following reactions takes place in the first step two moles of calcium oxide reacts with silicon dioxide forming ca2sio4 that is di calcium silicate in the second step 3 moles of calcium oxide combines with silicon dioxide forming ca3sio5 which is called as tri calcium silicate the third reaction taking place is 3 moles of calcium oxide reacts with 1 mole of aluminum trioxide forming ca3al2o6 and this is tri calcium silicate the fourth reaction taking place here is 4 moles of calcium oxide combines with aluminum trioxide and ferric oxide to form ca4al2fe2o10 that is tetra 
calcium aluminoferrite the chemical reactions occurring in this burning up of raw material is the formation of dicalcium silicate tricalcium silicate tricalcium aluminates and tetracalcium aluminoferrites as all the four ingredients undergoes chemical combination forming a respective silicates aluminates and ferrites finally aluminates ferrites and silicates of calcium fuse together to form a small hard grayish stone called clinkers clinkers are cooled collected in a small trolleys the fourth step is grinding and packing the cooled clinkers that is grayish stone like hard mass called clinkers are grinded into a fine powder in a ball mill or in a tube mills during finally grinding 2 to 3% of gypsum is added so that the resulting cement does not becomes hard quickly when it comes in contact with water. last step is packing up of the powdered cement the powdered cement is stored in a big silos from which it can be fed into the automatic weighing and packing process usually each bag contains 50 kg of cement 